Hello Gemini, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a general reading for you. If you're looking for something more personal, I do have a few different options, um, both paid and free. So if you're interested in that, that will be in the description. You can check those options out. Otherwise, um, your song for this reading is Keep in Touch by Tori Lanes and Bryson Tiller, and I'll have that in the description box as well. If you're interested in looking at the song and looking at the lyrics, it might have some inappropriate language, so if you're sensitive to that, just keep that in mind. Um, but I did I did write some down some of the lyrics. I wrote down, I'm stressed way more than usual. I'm getting things back in order. Um, <laughs> I miss driving with you in the passenger. Um, you have me on standby. I also wrote down, I miss when we were us, you're one of one, and missing when you kept in touch. So basically the song is like alluding to a situation um, with someone from your past that you have already had a connection with um, and probably were already in a relationship with. So it's like they're wanting, like, it's like the energy, like, the song is alluding to them wanting you to reach out to them, um, or missing when, um, when you kept in touch with them, when you reached out to them, when you spoke to them, when you, when you two were, um, actively speaking, um, this is the energy of where there's a lack of communication either from one end or both ends, um, yeah, so basically this person, um, is getting their life in order, and again, the song could be alluding to you too, so whoever, it, however it fits for you, um, but it's, this person is stressed more than usual, they're getting things back in order, so they're, they're kind of correcting things in their life, um, and also there was that specific message, I miss driving with you in the passenger, maybe, um, you guys did a lot of driving around or something, there's a pretty specific um, message, but basically the general gist is that um, it seems like divine feminine energy is maybe um, being withholding or holding themselves back. Um, yeah, because of complications that are outside of um, you. It's out of your control, so it's not something that you can... Um, you know, worry yourself about because it's out of your control. So that's, you know, a specific message. So if it resonates, it resonates. If not, uh, let me pull some cards and we can get some more info for you, Gemini. Um, what should we look at first? So it's, I'm just pulling a few cards here for this song specifically before I do the actual reading. I usually do this off camera, but I've been wanting to do it on camera because some good messages usually come through. So let's see. Please show me this person who is getting their life in order for Gemini. Or reverse again, however you take it is however you take it. Okay, that's way too much. Let's get let's get one card here. <laughs> Please show me this person. Yeah, they're definitely um, contemplating. They're probably doing a lot of reminiscing, a lot of um, yeah, contemplating, thinking a lot of the past, thinking of what happened, um, where you guys are today, what went wrong, um, all that kind of stuff. They're looking at where you guys stand today. That's what they are contemplating. Um, they could be an earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Please show me, um, what is stressing this person out? Please show me what is stressing this person out. Mm. Okay, so we have the Son of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so they're... <laughs> They're stressed out because of some sort of love situation, so it could be um, with you or with someone else. They're stressed out about some sort of, um, honestly, they're stressed out about an offer. They're stressed, this, the Son of Wands is the Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups is obviously a new beginning in love. Um, they're, obs they're, I almost said they're obsessed. They're obsessed with, um, they're <laughs> stressed, they're stressed about looking, um, 
I don't know how to say it. like I guess looking I guess looking like a player they're they're um, stressed about um, looking like they're stressed about you not trusting them that's what they're stressed about in some sort of offer of love with the ace of cups they're stressed about maybe past behavior or how you perceive them okay <laughs> I think I'm talking a little too much we're, only, we're still five minutes in okay um what else should we look at with the song? How does Gemini feel about this person? How does Gemini feel about this person? Son of Cups. Okay, so um, you you might know that they want this, or maybe they already came to you, or you can sense them coming, um, but you are seeing them um, as the Knight of Cups. The Son of Cups. So you're seeing them as someone who is <laughs> is giving an offer of love. You you sense that they are, and maybe you've rejected them actually. Um, or this also could be indicating you wanting to go towards them. But however it resonates for you. Um, hmm. Also, can you show me what um, Gemini is focused on right now? Can you show me what Gemini is focused on right now? Father of Wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign, by the way. Um, you're focused on the Father of Wands. You're, uh, you're focused on this person is what I'm getting from that. And if that's not the case, then maybe, maybe it's the other person or this reading isn't for you. <laughs> Let me just shuffle this once. And we'll get on with the reading here. Okay. Please show me um, Gemini's energy here, the focus um, for this reading, the energy of this reading for Gemini. Dynamic. Um, a number 23, which breaks down to a 5. So there's some sort of change in dynamic. There's a change in the situation. Um, if a situation has been stagnant for a while, um, this card is making me feel like that is going to change. Yeah. Um, let's read it. The frequency of dynamics supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. So um, what, the, what reading that is making me feel like I want to say is not um, being attached to... Like, especially where in the beginning of the reading, it, it kind of was giving me the sense that you kind of already felt that this person um, was thinking this or wanting to come towards you or if they already have. Um, don't, uh, I don't want to say don't, but try to stay um, aware of when you are, you are staying attached to an outcome. And it's not about not, it's like, have high expectations, but don't be attached to any outcome. That's what I want to say with that. Okay, let's see. Please show me um, the recent past for Gemini. Please show me the recent past for Gemini. Ah, uh, that was the eel. I saw it. We'll get another card, though, because I did uh, take it out. Yeah, the glove. Okay, yeah, so you were settling for some sort of, uh, like, sneaky behavior. You might have been letting red flags pass you by with this person in the past or in the recent past with somebody different. Um, this could be, I, I know I said recent past, but it could be alluding to the past with this with this connection here. Um, yeah, so you were, you were allowing some sort of deceptive behavior with the eel and the glove. You were complacent and allowing um, less than you deserved. Please show me the current situation for Gemini. Please show me the current situation for Gemini. Transformation. Everyone's been getting this card. Um, yeah, there's definitely a huge change that's happening right now. Um, 
you can probably feel it. Of course, I don't even need to tell you this. You can probably already feel this change um, or you're in the middle of this change. Things are changing for you. Things might be a little odd for you right now, like like the switch between um, cycles, the the <laughs> the the stopping of one cycle to start another cycle. It's like um, the in between. Like I'm feeling like it's the in between. Like maybe things feel odd. Things are different for you right now. Things aren't what they usually are for you right now. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, please show me the near future for Gemini. Show me the near future for Gemini. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, bravery in the praying mantis. Okay. So, <laughs> with with these two cards, I'm feeling like um, someone is going to be like really strategic. Like someone is going to be like really like. Yeah, strategic is the only word I can really think think of it. It's like really like deliberate. Um, we can get more details, but um, there's some sort of move or course of action that you or someone that um, is connected to you is taking that is taking bravery in the praying mantis energy, which is like kind of like witty. Like I, I just makes me feel like strategic. Strategic. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's all I can think of. <laughs> Okay. Please show me more about this deception that was, um, deception. Yeah, I said, just said deception, but it's like, it's, yeah, it's deception. It's just bad behavior. It's just behavior, um, and not even just deception, but it's like, just, yeah, just less, less than you deserve. Please show me, um, what, more details about this for Gemini. The eel and the glove. Yeah, you had to you had to see that that you were the most important thing in this situation. <laughs> like in this in this journey in um in this, you know, wh wherever you are in your path, that you had to in the past realize that you were the most important thing. You had to put you first and you had to put your needs first and your um your worth first. That's what I'm getting from the Seven of Wands. Um, yeah, it's like something, um, what this is making me feel like is a so something, this situation was almost a blessing though because it ignited this for you. It, it, um, it, it like, it just like kind of sh maybe showed you your, um, first of all, showed you how much you can handle, first of all. Second of all, it, it, it showed it showed you your your potential with your passions is what's making me feel like it, like it lit like it lit the way for you it showed you the path almost like it like it illuminated the way to go in the times of feeling um really i almost want to say i don't i almost don't i don't want to say helpless but it's like that energy where you you have just kind of like hit like like the end like the emotional end to a situation where you just like honestly can't even like think about it anymore that type of energy and like it's like it's kind of like a dead end so it makes you turn around and it makes you go down a different path like it almost forces you to so that's what it's making me feel like with the seven of wands uh please show me um I want to ask what's transforming for Gemini, but then I immediately felt like everything. Um, it's just like your your reality is what I'm feeling. Like I'm feeling like it's like the things around you, and that's why it's making me feel like maybe things around you are weird right now, or odd, or different from what they usually are. Please show me um, more about more about this um, dynamic change that's that Gemini is currently going through. Please show me more about it. Come on. God, oh my gosh. The fact that it, like, literally, like, would not come out of the deck. That was, like, so odd. The Father of Cups. So, um, this feels like Divine Masculine Energy. 
you might be going through transformation with um, a counterpart, like current, like you might in your current relationship maybe, your current connection, there's a, there's a change going on currently. Um, please show me more about what's changing here. Gemini, Daughter of Swords, so that is the Page of Swords. So what this is making me feel like is um, there was some sort of masculine energy that was kind of watching, spying, um, watching your social media, and that's changing. Um, what about that is changing? <laughs> Obviously, you know, what it would automatically make me think is it's, you know, they're, they're not going to spy anymore. They're going to um, communicate. show me more about the change for Gemini yeah yeah um, they're going to be communicating things that have yet to be communicated with the ace of swords and the moon here um, yeah secrets things you don't know that's just the gist of what it is it's it's just things you don't know we'll get more um, details with that deck though uh, and please show me what this bravery and like strategy is Please show me more about this bravery and strategy for Gemini. Yeah, I'm uh, manifesting the magician. Um, ooh. So, um, side note, hopefully, like, hopefully this isn't, like, a large amount, but there's definitely an energy here with the magician coming out. It's, like I was just, like, looking at the praying mantis and just, like, the way it is, like... It's um it's giving me like a uh magic a magic energy like a manipulating with magic type of energy which is never good. <laughs> so with magic um you might already you might already know this you probably already know this but in case you don't know this um if you're planning on doing any kind of magic or anything like that anything that messes with anybody's free will is absolutely the last thing you want to do. Um so basically, you know, if if what if the magic that you're doing messes with somebody else's free will, expect to receive like bad karma in return. That's what I want to say. And this could be you or this could be someone in regards to you. Um So if 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 this is someone in regards to you, this is like you're going to have to get strategic with your um protection. Um you know, healing remedies, um, whatever you need to do. If you're a tarot reader, um, or if you are in the public eye in general, honestly, like if you're in the public eye whatsoever, or you do any kind of energy work, um, definitely, um, keep an eye on your protection. Um, I shouldn't even have to be saying this to you because you are already know that if you are, um, but just, um, keep an eye on your protection, your protection game, because, it, with the bravery card and the praying mantis, it's kind of making me feel like it's 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 a time. It's like it's like the spiritual warfare type of energy. It's like a time where you're gonna have to be brave, um, because people are gonna be trying to manipulate the situation. You might have some enemies in regards to the situation. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, just um, keep that in mind. Future, um, you you know you might be feeling this come on especially if someone is going to be coming forward anyone that they have attached to them or any karmic ties that they have um you know obviously you know you expect lashing out you know that's not anything new you know karmic situations you know they're always lashing out so um yeah just keep that in mind protection game up i'm babbling on and on and on here so what um what is this going to manifest as here for gemini in 3D, like what is, what is this in 3D? Yeah. Oh wow. So this could be someone you work with. <laughs> That's odd, or it could be someone in your field. Someone that does something that you do as well. But we have the Father of Swords and we have the Father of Pentacles. Um, two masculine energies. These, oh my gosh, like the way 
the way these cards are, like, I'm feeling like this is literally, like, two people, like, this actually definitely feels like spiritual warfare, if not spiritual warfare, actual, not actual warfare, but, like, an actual fight, like, hopefully verbal, you know, like, or not hopefully verbal, but as opposed to physical, um, probably verbal, verbal, to be quite honest with you, with the verbal, with the verbal, with the, Oh my gosh, I have to slow down. With the Father of Swords. Um, yeah, it's it, it's like a... Like the Father of Swords energy is like really like brutal with their words. Um, the way the Father of Pentacles is like looking at the Father of Swords, it's kind of like side-eyeing the Father of Swords. They just kind of look angry to me, honestly. The Three of Pentacles, it could be alluding to... Um, someone at work but honestly what ultimately regardless of if it's someone at work or not this is this is going to take some effort on your part like this is part of your journey like this is part of the process here um this is um maybe to help teach you about you know protection and um help you with that stuff or get you to um be ready for that like it's like a mini a mini preparation for um you know, what could come of the future, you know what I mean? So that you're more prepared for any times that this would happen, maybe on a larger scale. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, but this is, this is definitely going to take effort and work on your part. Um, I don't want to, I mean, I say that, I don't want to say that like, oh, it's going to be work for you, but it's like, it's, it's going to take, um, care from you, like, uh, towards yourself. It, it's going to, you're going to have to, you're, it's going to force you to put yourself first, honestly, in every, on every level. It's going to force you to, um, stop allowing people to stick around, like, because you, you don't want to, like, maybe you're the type of person, like, which, like most people, you know, or maybe that, hey, maybe that's just me, um, where maybe it's hard to detach yourself from people, and it's, it's like, you'd rather just kind of le let them stay there, and, kind of like, I don't know, like, I guess kind of like detach yourself, like, energetically, slowly, but like you keep them around and it's like, that's just not healthy. So it's like, maybe it, like do, it'll teach you that doing that is, it's, it's a lot, it's a risk. It's, it's a, you know, it's a, I want to say it's a liability. It's, it's like, it's like you, you can't afford to, um, have people like that around because, because, you know, it's like, you don't, you just don't know, yeah. people that aren't treating you the way you want to be treated, or connections that aren't, um, giving to you what you give to them, or, you know, energy vampires, that type of stuff, like, it's only holding you back, and, you know, it's, it's only unhealthy for everyone, so it's just part of the process, so I'm gonna stop talking now, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's just gonna be, it's part of your journey, it's part of your, um, path here yeah that's what the three of pentacles is making me feel just one second i'm so sorry So, what should we look at first? Um, please show me uh, what is changing with the Father of Swords, Daughter of Swords energy here. Page of Wands. Yeah, there's so there's some sort of movement towards um, what somebody wants. Um, it's it's slow a little bit because it's it's kind of like. Um, Taking baby steps almost is what I'm feeling with the Page of Wands. Taking baby steps towards something. Um, working towards something. Um, yeah, and this is something that you can definitely probably feel um, in your energy already. Please show me what... Um, what <laughs> If you'll tell me here, can you please show me uh, what these secrets are here that are um, being spoken about? Or things not... I mean, secrets, yeah, but it's just things that Gemini doesn't know. So yeah, I guess it is a secret. 
uh, Eight of Pentacles. So, um, that they've been working on it secretly. And this, this, this is something that was, um, in a reading, I want to say it was like a month ago or something. I can't, I, honestly, it was in a few readings. It was like secret work or hidden growth or hidden work or secretly working towards something. Um, but yeah, doing it in secret, <laughs> not being obvious about it, not being like flaunting it, not not being verbal about it, just secretly working on something. This could be alluding to some really deep internal work as well. Um, please showing please show me more about what's being communicated. Please show me more about what is being communicated. Queen of Swords. Okay, so um, divine feminine energy. Um might be communicating this um this energy of uh like i'm not i can't like that energy you know like i can't i can't afford a liability you know what i mean i can't afford um like my energy is too too precious for that that type of energy i can't i can't i can't deal with less than i deserve that type of energy um that's i'm feeling i'm feeling like that's what divine feminine is communicating here um Please show me more about the communication. Maybe one more card for the communication. Yeah, okay, so that there's um, there's a point of needing to heal or needing to um, take a break or rest or um, someone needs more time to think. That type of energy is what I'm getting from the Four of Swords. Um, yeah, like there's going to be like... It might be speaking of why there was a break, why there was a pause, um, why someone um, needed to pull themselves away, and it was for healing. Um, okay, so what should I look at here? Um, okay, I'm going to look at what, what would be the best thing to focus on in this situation? And what what's the outcome? What 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 would be the best thing to focus on? Uh, what is your advice for Gemini to focus on um, when going through this situation here, um, which honestly truly feels a little bit like spiritual warfare? Please show me what Gemini should keep in mind. And if it's not spiritual warfare, it's just arguments, fighting, dis disagreements. Three of Swords to be focused on. Please show me more. Okay, so what this is making me feel like with the Three of Swords, it's making me feel like I want to say, like, careful of your heart, caref not careful of your heart, but careful of your heart chakra. Um, just be mindful of it. Like, like don't um, neglect your heart chakra is what it's making me feel like. Um, also, don't, like, in doing that, make sure that you don't, it's making me feel like I want to say, don't go cold. That's honestly what it's making me feel like I want to say. And I'm just going gonna, just gonna to say it because that's what I keep... I can't think of any other way to say it. Um, yeah, don't go cold in a situation. Um, understand that it's it's part of the process. Um, I also understand that before... I, in my belief system, if you don't believe this, completely disregard what I'm about to say. But you agreed to, before you came here, you agreed to, with whoever this person is, you've agreed to go through this dy this dynamic, this dynamic of maybe spiritual warfare, and it's a lesson for everyone involved. It's a lesson for you on how to defend yourself in situations like this, um, how to defend yourself energetically. It's a lesson for them because they're learning karma, and they're learning that doing these things will lead to really rough karma and like it's it's lessons all around and there's so much purpose in it that you can't even blame either side to be quite honest with you you can't even blame anyone because it was agreed upon first of all before you reincarnated and also there's purpose in every perspective everyone was necessary everyone was necessary to teach that lesson to learn that lesson so yeah that's my spiel on that um i have 30 seconds left um but um, focus on looking towards the future and focus on your goals here. Please show me what the outcome is before the camera shuts off. 
Please show me what the outcome is here for this. Yeah, conflict. So it's just going to be a conflict. So just um, be mindful and stay protected. Thank you. Bye.